The Next Millionaire Next Door Enduring strategies for building wealth when you think of someone wealthy, what kind of person do you imagine? Someone who lives in a luxurious home, enjoys a lavish lifestyle, has attended the best schools, and built an elite career. It may surprise you to learn that people who accumulate lasting wealth rarely adhere to these stereotypes. In reality, millionaires tend to live in modest, middle-class neighborhoods. They prioritize financial security and growing their net worth above flashy displays of wealth. They've built their fortunes through hard work, frugal living, and prudent investing over decades, rather than relying on expensive degrees or prestigious job titles. Real-life millionaires defy many common assumptions about wealth. You might even be living next door to a real-life millionaire. In fact, with a bit of strategy and determination, you could become a millionaire yourself. Ready to grow your wealth? Then let's get started. Bust wealth-related myths, bust wealth-related myths. Do you think of yourself as the kind of person who will never become wealthy or even achieve a net worth in the seven digits? Well, if you do, it's time to change how you think. The ingrained ideas you have about who can and can't be wealthy and how wealth can and can't be accumulated may be holding you back. Let's bust some common misconceptions around wealth. Your wealth isn't simply a function of your income. The numbers on your paycheck don't necessarily translate to your true net worth or financial security. Too often, people equate a high income with being wealthy, when in reality, wealth is all about your assets versus your liabilities. Someone earning $1 million per year but spending $1.2 million has a negative net worth despite their impressive salary. Conversely, someone earning a more modest $1,100,000 salary but living well below their means and diligently saving and investing can steadily increase substantial wealth over time. Earned income is fleeting, while building lasting wealth through prudent money management, savings, and investments is the true path to financial independence. There's no single route to becoming affluent. Millionaires come in diverse forms, the average earner who lives frugally, the high-income professional who invests wisely, the successful small business owner, and the stealth wealthy who supplement their income through side hustles. What unites these millionaires is a shared discipline around spending and a relentless focus on growing their net worth rather than indulging in luxury. The key lesson here is that the road to affluence can take many different forms. Perhaps most importantly, Outward displays of wealth are remarkably poor indicators of someone's true financial standing. The quintessential millionaire next door often lives in a modest home, drives an unassuming car, and avoids conspicuous consumption. Meanwhile, the pseudo-affluent may desperately try to project an image of wealth through luxury goods while actually having a relatively low net worth. Ultimately, wealth isn't about exorbitant incomes or lavish lifestyles, but rather about cultivating the habits of discipline, frugality, and smart investing over the long haul. By challenging the pervasive myths about wealth, you can focus on the behaviors and practices that truly lead to financial security and independence. Frugality is the path to wealth. Frugality is the path to wealth. It's easy to be dazzled by the trappings of affluence, the luxury cars, the sprawling mansions, the endless displays of excess. After all, the media is rife with images of the ultra-wealthy living lives of ostentatious indulgence. But this glossy veneer obscures a much more nuanced reality about how true wealth is actually accumulated in America today. While the super-high earners and top 1% heirs may have the freedom to spend lavishly, the fact is that earning a massive salary or amassing huge assets isn't the only path to building substantial, lasting wealth. In fact, some of the most steadfast wealth builders are individuals with more modest, average to above-average incomes who have simply mastered the art of restraint and moderation when it comes to their spending. Rather than getting swept up in the relentless messaging to overspend on the latest fashions, experiences, and consumer goods, the truly financially secure know the value of a more frugal, disciplined approach. This mindset of moderation isn't just a nice-to-have, it's an absolute necessity for those seeking to methodically grow their net worth over time. So, what does this frugal lifestyle look like in practice? It starts with being intentional about where one chooses to live. All too often, the pressure to keep up with the Joneses in an affluent, pricey neighborhood can suck away any chance of building substantial wealth. 
When your housing costs eat up a disproportionate share of your income, it becomes exponentially harder to save and invest for the future. Instead, the evidence shows that homes priced at no more than three times your annual income provide the optimal pathway to accumulating assets. Staying put in a modestly priced, affordable home also avoids the wealth-draining costs of frequent moves, which can easily run into the thousands of dollars each time. Surveys suggest that for true financial security, housing-related expenses, such as your mortgage, taxes, and maintenance, should make up no more than 28% of a household's monthly income. But it's not just housing that represents a common wealth-sapping trap. In our modern consumer culture, the siren call to spend on the latest fashions, technologies, and luxury goods is practically inescapable. From $1,000 designer jeans to $10,000 handbags, the pseudo-wealthy seem all too eager to flaunt their high-priced purchases. In stark contrast, the frugally-minded millionaires profiled in research studies report being just as satisfied with $50 denim as with the outrageously priced alternatives. Of course, that's not to say that all spending is bad. In fact, there are certain purchases where quality and durability can pay dividends in the long run. Investing in well-crafted furniture, high-end appliances, and other enduring consumer goods can be a savvy move, as these items hold their value and don't need constant replacing. The key is to be highly selective and intentional about where you choose to allocate your financial resources. Flex your financial competency reflex your financial competency reaching a state of genuine financial independence is no small feat it requires a careful balance of both simple and complex skills. From creating a disciplined household budget to expertly navigating the nuances of investment portfolios and tax planning. In many households, designating one person as the chief financial officer can be a game-changing strategy. Doing so centralizes this vital work and ensures that no critical details fall through the cracks. The responsibilities of this CFO role encompass everything from predicting the outcomes of key financial decisions to establishing and maintaining an emergency fund. They must manage the household's debt, oversee savings accounts, pay bills on time, file taxes properly, and develop a deep understanding of different investment vehicles and their respective risk-return profiles. In short, they serve as the steward of the family's long-term financial well-being. Research has identified six core competencies that are consistently demonstrated by economically successful households. These competencies are confidence, a shared sense of ownership and collaboration in major financial decision-making frugality, a sustained commitment to modest spending habits and diligent saving responsibility, a willingness to own the consequences of financial choices for better or worse social indifference. An immunity to consumer pressures and changing your spending based on social influences focus, a dogged determination to see complex financial plans through to completion planning. The ability to set clear goals, prioritize needs, and anticipate future financial challenges. The good news is that these competencies, while challenging to cultivate, aren't innate talents reserved for the naturally gifted. With time and concerted effort, even those who initially struggle in areas like frugality or financial planning can build these crucial skills. The key is being honest about your strengths and weaknesses, then systematically working to shore up any gaps. One persistent myth about wealth building that is important to dispel is the notion that traditional markers of intelligence, like high IQ scores or elite academic credentials, are the primary predictors of economic success. Time and again, research has shown that when it comes to accumulating substantial assets, qualities like perseverance, discipline, and conscientiousness matter far more than raw cognitive ability. For example, a survey of Decker millionaires, individuals with a net worth of $10 million or more, found that only 1 in 10 attributed their current financial status to attending an elite-level college. And while a college degree certainly has value in opening doors to higher-paying careers, the staggering 400% rise in education costs since 1996 means that the financial starting line is increasingly out of reach for many. The solution, it seems, lies in exploring thoughtful alternatives to the traditional four-year degree path. This could include pursuing scholarships, attending more affordable public institutions, or even foregoing university in favor of apprenticeships and other skills-based training programs. 
The quintessential millionaire next door is often someone who has methodically built their wealth through disciplined, blue-collar work and frugal living rather than flashy academic credentials. Interestingly, many of these financially savvy individuals also devote considerable spare time to continuously sharpening their investment and money management skills. They read business publications, study market trends, and regularly review the state of their investment portfolios. This dedication to ongoing learning and skills development serves as a powerful counterpoint to the notion that wealth is simply a function of innate talent or luck. Invest in simple, sustainable options. Invest in simple, sustainable options in a world increasingly dominated by overconsumption and status-driven materialism, the true path to building sustainable wealth often lies in the quiet, disciplined habits of the millionaire next door, those everyday individuals who prioritize savings, prudent investing, and long-term financial security over luxury. At the heart of this wealth-building approach is a keen understanding of how to effectively manage and grow financial resources. Rather than falling victim to the siren call of get-rich-quick schemes or exotic investment vehicles, these astute investors focus on time-tested strategies rooted in moderation and consistency. Chief among these millionaires' favorite investment vehicles are retirement accounts, with the goal of allocating roughly 30% of their overall wealth to this critical component of a diversified portfolio. Rather than constantly tinkering and chasing the latest trends, they remain anchored to their chosen strategy, understanding the perils of action bias, the tendency for investors to make unnecessary trades that end up costing them dearly. Of course, this unwavering commitment to a long-term plan doesn't mean they're entirely averse to risk. Quite the opposite, in fact. The truly successful investor cultivates a high tolerance for volatility, recognizing that prudent risk-taking is essential for achieving meaningful returns. What sets them apart is a dedication to continuous learning, ensuring that they understand the intricacies of the markets and can make informed decisions about when to lean into risk and when to exercise caution. This knowledge-driven approach is particularly important at key inflection points, like the transition into retirement. Whereas a more aggressive investment strategy may serve younger wealth builders, a more cautious portfolio becomes increasingly crucial as your time horizon shortens. The millionaire next door investor understands these nuances intimately, adapting their approach in lockstep with their evolving needs and risk profile. Ultimately, the defining characteristic of this singular breed of investor is their unshakable commitment to growing their assets over the long haul. They recognize that in an era of relentless inflation, simply letting your savings languish in a low-yield account is tantamount to financial ruin. Instead, they channel their earnings into productive assets, confident that steady, disciplined investing will compound into substantial wealth over decades. Building substantial wealth is less about high incomes and lavish lifestyles, and more about living below your means, saving consistently and patiently growing assets over many years. Final Summary By focusing on your long-term financial goals and not falling victim to consumer culture or the promise of quick returns, you too can steadily grow your wealth.